Hafadé Guam, here are the headlines for CNMI. There are no confirmed cases of COVID-19 in the CNMI. Up to this point, four individuals have been tested for the coronavirus in the CNMI. The specimens have been collected, but two have been tested with results, right? Both of negative and the other one, the other two are being, the, the specimen have been collected, but have no results yet. The Commonwealth Healthcare Corporation has quarantine sites set up on Saipan, and one site is the Century Hotel. At this time, an individual and family members are being quarantined at the hotel. But CHCC states this does not mean the individual has the coronavirus. There's certain scenarios, right? There's yeah. certain scenarios of what, what will come in, you know, um, is the person in symptomatic, asymptomatic. Um, and we determine who gets isolated and who goes home, self-monitoring, and um, who gets admitted. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we determine who gets isolated in these areas. And at that point, Century Hotel was available at that time. Five cases of the coronavirus have been confirmed on Guam. And CHCC is working with the CNMI government on securing the borders to ensure people with symptoms of COVID-19 are identified. The goal of this uh, survey, the airport surveillance system, is that uh, by indiv uh, individuals who are coming from areas that have had a COVID case um, and are asymptomatic, the intent is to enroll them in this text-based uh, system so that uh, they can help us identify those individuals if they obtain, uh, develop symptoms. Should they develop symptoms, they are able to let us know and we will dispatch a team to evaluate them. Um, and then we're asking them to respond to this text uh, system every 14 days. So there's every day for 14 days. Mm -hmm. And then they are disenrolled. The rationale behind exec the last executive order, particularly in that that talked about Directive 8. Um, the biggest thing right there is that we're screening all, all travelers inbound into CNMI, both returning residents who go through um, Guam or any of the countries infected with COVID-19. And, and at the end, on the onset, every single country that goes, every single traveler who goes into the CNMI has to go through a country that has an inf an, a case of COVID-19. So the, the protocol in place that CHEC has recommended to the governor is to ensure um, a self-quarantine protocol for returning residents of 14 days at their home or their dwelling, and then for tourists coming into the CNMI, self-quarantine at their hotel, and being able to maximize the use of the amenities within the hotel using the beachfront, but still limiting the public exposure outside of the hotel. One message is being repeated to prevent the spread of the virus. Just stay home. Please stay home. The governor is asking everyone to please stay home and avoid unnecessary travel as much as possible. If you feel sick or if someone in your home is sick, please stay home. Yeah. Do not go to work. Avoid social gatherings of more than 10 people. And contact your personal doctor or call the COVID-19 info line, which is provided by CHUC. Munya states the Guam Public Health Lab is available to complete up to 20 tests per day and that each test takes about six hours to complete. For more news, visit SiapanTV.com. For KSPN2 News, I'm Ashley McDowell.